good. Let's see. Oh, good. Hey, Madison. Are you there, Madison? I'll come back. Hey, Sophia. Hello. Hi, Sinead. How are you? I'm doing great. You? I'm good. I'm good. Sarah, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. Lucas, how are you? Hello. Hey, Victor. Hello. What's up? Oh, you know, just another day in paradise. <laughs> Are you there, Lucas? Let's see. How about Lena? Hello. Hi, Lena. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm good. I'm good. And Adolfo, how are you? Hey there, Madison. I'm here. I can't make the video work. That's okay. Um, I think you've got an echo. Uh, the the um the window that you came from. Make sure you close that. Okay. Okay. And then the echo will go away. Uh, Amp, how are you? Hi, Where? teacher. How are you? There you are. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good, good. And Adolfo, are you there? Yes. Hello, Shanae. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. Um, Lucas, is your microphone working? Hello. How are hey, you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good. All right. Um, that's everyone. So, everyone, Madison um, is a new teacher with Kalingo, and mm -hmm. she's going to be joining us today. So, if everyone wants to say hello to Madison. Hi, Madison. Welcome. Welcome to Kalinga. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. So, uh, she. Go ahead, Madison. No, no, it's all right. Okay. So, um, she's going to be joining this class and just seeing the craziness of Kalinga and seeing how and seeing how we all hang out and learn English together. So um, for those of you who don't know me, which I think I know everyone here, but uh, my name is Shanae and I am from the United States. I live in California and I guess that's it. So. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, um, and for those of you who are watching outside, just hang out and practice with us. So, um, today's lesson is going to be on the G and the K sounds, which you might be thinking, well, those are pretty easy. I don't have any problem with that. Um, and generally, they are pretty easy until you put them at the end of a word. So we're going to concentrate a lot on end sounds with the G and the K. Um, of course, I also have tongue twisters for you guys. And um, some silly sentences as well, just to get those sounds out. So that's what we're going to be concentrating on today. Um, and if you feel like, Adolfo, I know you're really advanced, if you feel like it's just too easy and boring, then, you know, then you can watch from the outside. But uh, hang out for now, see how it goes, um, and we'll go from there. So um, let's have everyone introduce themselves first. So if you could, uh, yeah, like think and things, exactly, Sarah. So um, let's just have everyone introduce themselves first. So if you want to say your name and where you're from, and what you love the best 
loved or the most, what you love most about your country, wherever you're from. So, Adolfo, we'll start with you. Um, okay, um, I'm Adolfo and I'm from Brazil. And the thing that I love the most about my country is um, the music. Music, all right, excellent. Great. Um, and Amp? I am Amparo from Ecuador, and the most uh, that I apply from my country is people, the people here, very friendly. <laughs> All right, excellent. Yeah. And Liliana? Okay, okay. Uh, hi everybody, my name is Liliana, I'm from Colombia, and the most that I love from my country, uh, I think it's um, the happiness, uh, because uh, we are happy people and friendly as, as well in Ecuador as San Paro said. So uh, I like the, the behavior of my of Colombian people. All right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. And Lucas. Hello, I'm mm -hmm. Lucas from Brazil and Sao Paulo. I love uh, the music. Yeah. Music. All right. Yes. We have to start listening to some Brazilian tunes, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, everybody seems to like Brazilian music. Um, Madison, would you like to introduce yourself to everyone? Um, sure. I'm Madison. I'm from the U.S. And what I love most about the U.S. would probably be the mountains. I think they're beautiful. I agree. I agree. Where are you from, Madison? Um, right now I'm living in Pennsylvania. But I've lived in seven states, and I just got back from a year in Ireland. So, excellent. It's all over. <laughs> How was Ireland? It was lovely. Did you like it? Yes. Are you going? Are you missing it already? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, very much. Yep. What states have you lived in? I have lived in Colorado, Tennessee, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania. Virginia, Idaho, and Florida. What was your favorite? Wow. Um, I liked Colorado a lot. There's the mountains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Colorado is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Did you like Virginia? I loved Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used to. Uh, I visited the University of Virginia campus. Mm -hmm. And I fell in love. With <laughs> if I could handle the cold winters. Yeah. I, would have, I would have tried to go there. So mm -hmm. it was just cool to see, you know, Monticello and yeah. everything. Yeah. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. So. It is. Lots of colors. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I was there in September. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, it was a great time. So many years ago, though. Not anytime <laughs> soon. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm way past my college years at this yeah. point. So, um, and Sarah? Yes, uh, I'm Sarah. Uh, I live in Saudi Arabia, and um, I love uh, the people here, my family, my friends. Excellent, wonderful. Do they have good food in Saudi Arabia, Sarah? Mm, we our favorite is rice. Rice, <laughs> rice. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Uh, Sofian. Okay. Hello. My name is Sofian. I'm from Algeria, and I'm 18 years old. The thing I like the most about my country is the sea, the Mediterranean, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. beautiful, excellent. And Vitor. Hi, my name is Vitor. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Uh, what else? <laughs> what do you like the most about Brazil? What? What do you like the most about Brazil? I, I don't understand this question. Do you have a TV on? Oh. Ah, there we go. Yeah. What do you like the most about Brazil? The most... Um, uh, beach? <laughs> beach? Nice. All right. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh, waterfall. Waterfall. 
waterfalls. Uh huh. Excellent, excellent. Um, well, um, as you guys know, I'm from the U.S. and I think what I like the most about the U.S. is the fact that we have so many different cultures here. Mm -hmm. Which, since we have so many different cultures here, that means we have lots of great food. <laughs> And um, as some of you know, I love food. I love good food. Um, and I'm almost seven months pregnant, so I really love food right now. So, <laughs> so um, I, I enjoy, I, I, I will try anything once. I will try anything once. So I enjoy good food. So, all right, guys. So that's what... Uh, Welcome to class, and let's go ahead and get started. So, like I said, the reason why we're going to go over G and K today is because while they may be easy to pronounce um, at the beginning of words or our initial sounds, um, they can prove to be problematic um, at the end of words. So what non-native speakers normally will do is they will pronounce just a K sound, a K sound at the end of words, and they'll leave the G off. Which, Adolfo, I know you're probably thinking, well, a lot of native speakers do that too. And mm -hmm. yes, we do. Yeah. But it's still um, beneficial for us to practice getting those sounds out. Um, so if there are some words, there are quite a few words actually in the English language that you need to get the g, the g mm -hmm. sound out at the end of words. So this is normally when we leave them off when native speakers leave the G sound off is when you have an NG at the end. And we kind of get lazy with it. We kind of drop that G. So that's not what we're going to be looking at today. We are not going to be looking at words that end in NG. Um, so we'll start with the basics. So the G, both the G and the K sound are going to come from the back of your mouth or the back of your throat. Um, what you want to do in order to produce both of these sounds is you don't really use your tongue a lot. Your tongue will lay flat at the bottom of your mouth. The G sound is voiced. The K sound is voiceless. So when you do a G, it's G. G. Okay? Feel free to follow along and do it with me. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, let me hear everyone give me a g. 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 Yeah. G. And with um, a K sound, you're not going to have as much reverberation or vibration. Like I said, it's voiceless. So it's k. It's almost like, it's almost like, a, like you're blowing air, a k. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <coughs> Hopefully I don't start coughing during this class, by the way. Um, as some of you know, my allergies have been horrible. Um, some people will call the g sound um, a hard g sound. And that's partially right. Um, a soft G sound is mostly going to almost take on a J sound, a J sound, okay? So, um, and it, 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 I know it can be confusing when we have one letter that can make more than one sound. Um, so, for example, you have a word like girl. Girl. Mm -hmm. Girl. Girl. girl, girl, yeah, girl. yeah. So you have a word like girl, and you get that g, the girl sound. Then you have a word like giant, 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 and the giant, 
Yeah, and giant is more of what we would call a soft G, which really, again, it almost takes on a J sound, the J, giant. So just be aware of that. Um, does anybody have any questions? No. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do some minimal pairs. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to, like I said, we're going to focus a lot on the end sounds because that's where non-native speakers have um, the most trouble. So... So we have bug and buck. Bug, bug. buck, buck. Bug, buck. Bug, buck. Bug, buck. Good. Bug, buck. Good. Good. We'll do a couple of these just with everyone saying them at the same time. And then I'm going to go individually down the line and have um, each one of you um, practice this. So, um, hold on one second, guys. Let's do... Doug, duck. Doug, Doug. Duck, 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 Leak. 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 No, no. Leak. Leak. It's the long e. Leak. Leak. Everyone do leak. 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 Good. All right. Perfect. Okay. And I'm gonna have you guys do some individually. So Adolfo, we're gonna start with you, and we're just gonna go down the line. So, pig, pick. Pig, pick. One more time. Pig, pick. Good. All right, Amp? Pig, pick. Good. Uh, is it Joel? Oh, I embarrassed him. <laughs> I got all right, go ahead, Liliana. Pick, pick. Good. Do pig again. Pick, pick. <laughs> pig, pig. Pig. Yeah, it's, 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 see, it's, it's coming out, it's almost coming out more like a K. So you want pig, g, pig. 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 That's much better. Good, good. Um, Lucas? Pig. Pick. Good. Um, Madison, I trust you know how to say all of these. <laughs> yes. So I'm just going right. to skip over you. Um, Sarah? Yes. Um, pick. Pick. Okay. Pick. 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 Okay. It's almost coming out like peck. So you want pick. It. It. Pick. Pick. Perfect. There you go. Sofiane? Big pick. Good. Vitor? Pig pick. Good. Good, good. Um, plug, pluck. Plug, pluck. Adolfo? Plug. Plug. Good. Amp? Plug. Plug. Good. Uh, Jordan, are you there? Yeah, here I am. How are you? Oh, well, thank you. Good. All right. You want to do plug and pluck for me? 
Uh, sorry, maybe I can be the last one because just now I joined your class. Sorry for that. Okay, no worries. I'll come back. Okay, Liliana? Pluck and pluck. One more time. <laughs> pluck and pluck. No? No. So your G is still coming out like K. Plug. plug. Yeah. Ugh, ugh. Plug. You wanna, yeah, you want to make that? Yeah, plug. Plug and pluck. Much better. Good job. Excellent. Lucas? Plug. Plug. Good. Sarah? Yeah. Um, plug. Plug. Good. Sophia? Plug. Plug. Good. Vitor? Plug. Plug. Good. Jordan? Yeah, blog and oh, blog. Sorry for that. Okay, no worries. I'll come oh. back. Okay, Lily. You, you've got an echo, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> um, make sure that you close that other window, the one oh, that you came from. No, no, it's okay. No worries. No worries. Blog and the block. One more time. I'm sorry. Blog and the block. Good. 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 All right. Yeah. Sandra says, um, "I'm pluck my skin." You probably don't want to pluck your skin, but you could. Um, I will pluck a chicken. Mm -hmm. So if you kill a chicken and you need to eat it, um, I don't think many of us do this, um, but we'll just <laughs> pretend that we all live in the middle of nowhere on a farm. Um, so you, you cut a chicken's head off, and you need to eat it, so you need to pluck the feathers out, which means you need to oh, take the feathers out. Cool. <laughs> well, it's dead, so it's okay. <laughs> it might flop around a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. But um, you're talking to a farm girl, Adolfo. Come on. So, um, I've never had to pluck a chicken, though. I've never plucked a chicken. My okay. mother has. I have not. Um, so, yeah, pluck means to take out hair or feathers or fur, okay? So you probably don't want to pluck yourself or pluck your skin. I think what Sandra was thinking of is maybe the word prick. If you prick your skin, that's like, um, oh, everybody knows Sleeping Beauty? Anybody know Sleeping Beauty? Yes. Yeah, Sleeping Beauty pricks her finger on the spindle. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's when you, it's a very, it's like a punk, what we call a puncture wound. It's a very small needle point in your skin. So it's a very small uh, wound. Um, that is prick. Coco, some people mix between P and M. Hmm. Might have to do some P and M uh, minimal pairs. Oh, P and B. Oh, yeah. I was like P and M. That's okay, Coco. Um, <laughs> um, yes, P and B. Um, mm -hmm. Liliana, were you in that class that we did P and B? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. That was a hard. That was yeah. That one. That one is a hard. Hard one. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Oh, and then pl just so since we're on the vocabulary train right now, um, plug, if you plug something, it means like you um, plug your ears. So it's like to cover, to cover. So you plug your ears or you plug a drain. Um, what else? What else could you plug, Madison? Can you say that, like, insert, plug and deploy, or plug the fuse in the electricity? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes mm -hmm. exactly. You insert, yeah, you insert a cord into the wall. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, plug the yeah. cable. Yep, exactly. Plug, plug your earbuds in your computer, plug your headset, or something like that. Yep, mm -hmm. perfect. Exactly. Exactly. Um, plug means remove. 
is it correct? Yes, that's correct, Jimron. So um, another way you could use pluck besides, whenever I hear pluck, I always think of plucking a chicken. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Probably because I've been around a farm my entire life. Um, but oh, let's see. You could, if you, um, you could pluck somebody out of a crowd. Um, so let's say that you, let's say you're at a concert and the singer is up on stage and he asks for somebody to come up on stage with him. Then he could like reach down and maybe grab you. I don't know, this is probably a horrible example, <laughs> but he could probably reach down and grab you by the shirt and he's plucking you out of the crowd. Literally removing you, picking you up out of the crowd. So. I don't know. Does that make sense, guys, or did I just confuse mm -hmm. you more? Yes, no. <laughs> okay. All right, good. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, let's do these two. Woo! Tug and tuck. Tug and tuck. Adolfo? Tug, tuck. Good. Amp? Tug and tuck. Do tuck for me one more time. Tuck. Perfect. Okay. Jordan? Yeah. Tug and tuck. Perfect. Liliana? Tuck and tuck. One more time. Tug and tuck. Good, Liliana. Good. Good. Uh, Lucas? Tug and tuck. Good. Um, Sarah? <coughs> tug and tuck. Good. Sofiane? Tug and tuck. Good. Vitor? Tug and tuck. One more time. Tug and tuck. 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 Tuck, there you go, perfect. So if you tug on somebody or you tug something, it's like a pull. Like um, the dog, the dog. The dog tugs on my dress. So it's like the dog pulls it, pulls your dress. Um, you can tug on your ear, tug on your ear, um, <coughs> and then tuck, like you tug the taxi for the mouse or the rat. Say that again? You tug the taxis for the rat or the mouse. It's come like insert but in a different way, like for something. It's more to pull. Tug is more to pull something. Yeah, like um, I I tug on this cord, right? I'm tugging on this cord, so I'm pulling on this cord. Mm -hmm. Tug is more of a pull, um, whereas plug is more to insert. Um, and then tuck, um, I think of like you tuck in. Um, oh gosh. I tuck the sh I tuck the sheet in on my bed. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're pushing It's like you're pushing something inside of something else. Um oh, um you tuck money into your wallet. So it's it's another insertion, but it's it's putting something actually physically inside of something else. Yeah, I said that you can tuck the toxi for the rat inside the food or something. Say that again. You tuck the toxies for the rat. That's mean maybe you put the toxi inside like an apple for the rat to kill the rat. 
the toxin? Is that the word you're looking yeah. for? Toxins. Something yeah. killed the rats, maybe bad animals. So toxins. Can you type it? Yeah, so you talk like you talk the medicine for the patient. Yeah, I, but I, I, I'm thinking, I'm not sure if you're using the right, the right word. I think you're saying toxies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that you talk the toxies for the rats. Yeah, you're not, that's not the, you're, that's a different, you're looking for the word toxin. Toxin. Oh. Yeah, toxin. Oh. Yeah. Or we would really use, a better word to use in that sentence would actually be poison. Um, you tuck... Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Tuck the tuck, poison? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's correct. You tuck the poison. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Or, like, I have lots of animals, as you guys know. Um, mm -hmm. And um, we'll use, like, especially for dogs, uh, with cheese. Dogs love cheese. So you can tuck the medicine into the cheese. Yeah, you're right, Jordan. Exactly. Perfect. Uh huh. Yep. Um, let's do a couple more of these. Bag, back. Bag, back. Adolfo? Mm -hmm. Bag, back. Good. And? I have a question. Sure. Uh, you're pronouncing it like a bag, like pig, plug, tug, but you can pronounce it as pig, plug, tug, bag. Yes. You can, you don't have to enunciate as, like, if I, like, I would, I could say something like, um, the pig is in the pen. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit pig. I mean, yeah, it's just, you want, the, what I'm really trying to um, reinforce is that the G actually comes out sounding like a G instead of sounding like a K. So, um, yes, you're right, Adolfo. You don't have to actually, I, if I was talking to somebody, I probably would not say the pig is is in the pen. Um, I probably wouldn't pronounce it that harshly um, or that or enunciate it that much. Um, but just for the sake of class, I want to make sure that everybody's getting a g sound out versus a k sound out. So, yeah. But you know, you're right. In general conversation. Okay. People would probably look at you kind of funny if you were like the pig. <laughs> so, yeah. um, it probably you it probably wouldn't you know go. Yeah, so. because I never hear people like in the same conversation the G sound as much as okay. you're doing right now. Yep, and that's true. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So, I always in pronunciation classes I always kind of over enunciate just so that you can really hear. The, the actual sound that's coming out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. So, Thank you. Yeah, but you're right. You're totally right. Um, Amp? Back and back. Good. Jordan? <laughs> Do it one more time for me, Jordan. Back and back. Good. Liliana? Back. And back. <laughs> do, do bag for me one more time. <laughs> okay. Back and back. Just do the first, just do bag. Bag. Okay. That's good. You're good. Um, Matthias? Yeah. Bag and back. Good. Uh, Roshan, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm good, and you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, so we're working on some uh, G and K sounds. So we're doing bag and back. Uh, okay, which, which words? I have to say. Bag and back. Bag, bag and back. Good. Uh, Sofian? Bag. Back. Good. 
Vitor? E is bag, bag. Bag, bag. Bag and back. Okay, do you bag for me one more time? Bag. Good. All right. Good. Yeah. Um, is that was that your question? Bag, or were you asking if it was bag or bag? We could really get going, and we could do bag, big, big, bag, bag, big, bog, bug. Bug. <laughs> Adolfo, you want to do this? Um, to do what? Bag, bag, big, bog, bug. Oh, okay. Bag, um, bag, big, bog, bug. Good. Uh, Amp? Bag, bag, big, bog, bug. Okay, <laughs> good. Jordan? Jordan, where'd you go? Okay. Liliana? Okay. Back. No, sorry. I start again. Back. Back. Big. Bug. Book. All of them sounded really good, but bug. Bug. Perfect. Okay, good. Matthias? Back, big, big, bug, bug. Good. Uh, Ravshan? Uh, uh, back, big, big, bug. Do the last one? Uh, bug, bug. Bog and bug. Bug, bug. Good. Um, bug. bug. There you go. There you go. Sofiane? Bag, bag, big, bug, bug, bug. Bug, yeah, see? Yeah. You almost got the K. Vitor? Bug, bag, big, bug, bug. Good. Good, good. Um, let's see. Some of these aren't really words, but we're going to play with them anyway. Back, back, big, bop, buck. Okay. Back, back, big, bop, buck. Adolfo? Back, back, big, bop, buck. Good. Amp? Back, back, big, bop, buck. Really good, Amp. Very nice. Uh, Jordan, how's your connection? Oh, no, okay. Okay. Back, big, big, buck, buck. Okay, Liliana? Back, back, big, buck, buck. <laughs> uh, Matthias? <laughs> back, big, big, buck, buck. Good. Roshan? Back, big, big, buck, buck. Good. Sofiane? Back, back, big, buck. Back. Good. And Vitor? Back, 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 big, book, book. Good. All right. Let's just. I more. think to Brazilian because his English sound acts Brazilian. Vitor is Brazilian. Yes, he is. Yep. <laughs> um. Matheus, are you Brazilian too? Yeah. I'm from the northeast of Brazil. Um, good. <laughs> okay, again, one of these is not a word, but we're going to use it anyways. So, lag, leg, lig, log, lug. Lag, leg, lig, log, lug. Adolfo? Lag, leg, lig, log, lug. Okay, and then... Um... Lag... Leg, leg, yeah. leg, leg. Good. Uh, Jordan? Leg, 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 
Log, log. Good. Liliana? Lag, lag, lip, lag, look. Do lag again for me. Lag. No. <laughs> lag. 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 That was lag. better. That was better. Matthias? Lag, lag, lip, lag, look. Good. Roshan? Lag, lag, lip, lag, lag. Do lug for me one more time. Lug. 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 There you go. Sofian? Lug, leg, leg, lug, lug. Good. Vitor? Lug, leg, leg, lug, leg. Do lig, lig. Lug. Perfect. Um, out of those five words, which one is not a word? <laughs> Lig, I guess. Yeah, good job. Yeah, lig is not a word. Good. Um, let's see. Um. Okay. Lack, lek, lick, lock, luck. Adolfo? Lack. Like, lick, lock, look. Good, Adolfo. Amp? Lick, 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 lock, look. You're doing really well, Amp. Very good. Jordan? Thanks. Uh, sorry, I can't see the words. Sorry for that. <laughs> uh, is your chat working? No, no my chat not working, unfortunately. The Colingo chat's not working? Yeah. No. Lick, 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 lock, lock. Good. Um, oh, yeah, in Madison, if yes. you, I noticed that you're in the other chat, too. If you want to oh, okay. click on either it'll say Colingo chat, or you might have to go to view more apps. Okay. And find, find the one that says Colingo chat and install that. Okay. Did you find it? Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay, perfect. Thanks. That way you can actually see what everybody's typing. <laughs> um, Liliana? Lack, lick, lick, lock, lock. Do it one more time. Lack, lick, lick, lock, okay. lock. Good. Um, Matthias? Lack, lick, lick, lock, lock. Good. Roshan? Lack, lick, lick, lock, lock. Good. Sofian? Lack, lack, lick, lock, lock. And Vitor, good, Sophia. Lack, lack, lick, lock, look. Good, good. And which one of those five is not a word? Lack. Lick. The, the last one? Lack. Lack, yeah, the second one. Lack. Lack. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. Good. Okay. Um, let's see. I was going to try to make it more difficult for you guys, but it's not. <laughs> It's not working for me. Um, let's see. This isn't going to use all the vowels, but it's going to use some. We'll just do these four. Okay. Wag, whack, wig, wick. Wag, whack, wig, wick. Adolfo? Wag, wag, wig, wig. Good. Amp? Wag, wag, wig, wig. Good. Jordan? Wag, wag, wig, wig. Good. Liliana? Wag, wag, wig, wig. <laughs> Similar. <laughs> wag, wag was the only one that sounded, uh, do wag again. <laughs> Okay, wag, wag, 
Ay, no. I have problems with this. <laughs> Wag. Wag. There you go. Yeah. Again, if you have to over-enunciate just to get the sounds out until you get really good at making the sounds, then I, I would rather you do that um, than try to sound like a native speaker right off the bat. Um, you know, if it's, if it's a sound that's unfamiliar to you, Mm -hmm. um, with like the G sound on the end and you have to, you know, wag, g, g, wag, I don't care, that's fine. I'd rather you do that so that you get the pronunciation right and then as time goes wag. on you can, you know, get it to just be wag. Wag. Wag, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, Matthias? Um, wag, wag. Wick, wick. Good. Roshan. Wag, wag, wick, wick. Good. Uh, Sophia? Uh, wag, wag, wick, wick. And Vitor? Wag, wag, wick, wick. Nice. All right. Um, <laughs> Snag, snack, snug, snuck. Adolfo? Snag, snack, snug, snuck. Good. Amp? Snag, snack, snug, snuck. Good. Jordan? Snag, snack, snug, snuck. Good. Liliana? Snack. Snuck, snuck, snuck. Good, good, good. <laughs> Matthias. Snack, snack, snuck, snuck. Good. Roshan? Snack, snack, snuck, snuck. Do you snag for me one more time? Snag, snack, snuck, snuck. Good. Sofian? Snack, snack, snuck. Snuck. Good. Vitor? Snag. Oh my god. Snag. Snack. Snug. Snuck. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> um. Woo. I can't come up with any more. Um, stag, stack. Stag, stack. <coughs> ah, stag, come on, I have 10 stack. minutes. Good. Hold on one second, guys. I have 10 minutes left. Are you kidding? And now I'm going to start. <laughs> Please, Let's no play problem. some things. Let's play some things. You want some tongue twisters with this? Is that what I'm hearing? You want some tongue twisters? I, I can do that. It would be cool. Um, let's see. Why do you have just one lesson today? I had games class earlier, you missed it. Oh yeah, that's because I was kind of busy. I was in my project of the college. Sorry. Then I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't be here earlier. Yeah, Sorry. so I have two. Yeah. Yep, it, games was earlier and pronunciation is now. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's try this one. Um. Oh yeah, I don't see all kids, all kids face. To compartilate. 
<risos> aí, por exemplo, a professora vai fazer alguma coisa, ela compartilha a tela dela para mostrar para a gente, entendeu? Alguma... I was going to say, I don't think he's speaking English at this point. Okay. All right. Nutty knot was not in. Nutty knot was out. Knotting knots and netting. Nutty knot was out, but lots of knots were in. Nutty knots, naughty netting. So crazy. <laughs> I'll do it one more time. Nutty knot was not in. Nutty knot was out. Knotting knots in netting. Nutty knot was out, but lots of knots were in. Nutty knots, naughty netting. <laughs> Adolfo, you want to do it? Uh, nutty knot was not in. Nutty knot was out. Not in knots in netting. Nutty knot was out, but lots of knots were in that knots, not netting. Good. Good. Um, Amp? Nutty knot was not in. Nutty knot was out. Nothing not in netting. Oh, it's a language I put it. But lots of not wearing naughty knots, naughty netting. Good. Uh, Jordan? Nothing not was not in. Nothing not was not was out not nothing knots in <laughs> netting. Nothing not was out, but lots of knots were naughty knots naughty knitting. Good <laughs> nice. Oh. Liliana? Nothing not was not in. Nothing not was out, nothing not in netting. Nutty knot was out, but a lot of knots were in nutty knots is nutty knitting. Very good, Liliana. Good job. <laughs> Madison, you want to give it a try? <laughs> okay. Nutty knot was not in. Nutty knot was out. Knotting knots in netting. Nutty knot was out, but lots of knots were in nutty knots, knotty netting. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Good job. It's always really fun when um, it's happened to me a couple times where I'm doing tongue twisters and I mess up. And <laughs> yeah. Your students love it because they're like, ah, ha, 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 teacher got it wrong. Yeah. So, um, and it happens. It happens. Oh yeah. Um, Matthias, are you done speaking Portuguese? How? Are you done speaking Portuguese? If I what? <laughs> Are you done speaking Portuguese? Oh yeah, I was. <laughs> okay. You uh, sorry, do this? It's no, okay. it's because I work ex explaining this kind of sentence that it's almost impossible to tell. Oh, <laughs> I was okay. showing my friend. Um. Well, how about you do the tongue twister and show your friend? <laughs> do you want to hear them telling that? I want to hear you tell me the tongue twister. Uh, okay. <laughs> nutty knot, nutty knot was not in. Nutty knot was out. Nutty knot in netting. Nutty knot was out, but uh, but lots of knots were in not 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 netting. <laughs> <laughs> good job, good job. Uh, Roshan. Uh, Nutty knot was not in, nutty knot was out, nothing knots in knitting, nutty knot was out, but lots of knots were in nutty knots, not in knitting. Excellent, very good. Sophia. Nutty knot was not in, nutty knot was out, nutty knots in knitting, nutty knot was out, but lots of knots were in nutty knots, nutty knitting. Good. <laughs> Sophia, were you the one, because you were gone for so long, was it you that was always really rocking my tongue twisters? <laughs> yes, I guess. I thought it was, I thought so, because I used to have a student that used to do my tongue twisters like really well, and then all of a sudden <laughs> that student disappeared, and I'm pretty sure it was you, Sophia. Um, Vitor? Really? <laughs> yeah, do it, Vitor. Uh, it's very difficult, I'm a beginner. <laughs> oh, you'll do fine. Uh, Just do it okay. slow, do it slow. Oh. Not ish not not why is not in huh? Not Nutty not, not. uh-huh nutty not nutty not wise out not nothing not in nothing not not wise wise out but lots of knots were in not 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 
Not in a <laughs> terrible. So bad. No, you're doing good. Naughty, nutty, blah. See? Nutty, naughty. Nutty, not naughty, nutting. Do just that part. Nutty, not naughty, nutting. Not, nodding. What? Naughty. Nutty, not naughty, nutting. Uh huh. Nutting, nutting, not, nutting. Good, good job, good. Um, no, Matthias, because it's not in English. We have to do <laughs> English ones. <laughs> Silly. Um. I have very good G ones. We'll try this one. Three gray, green, greedy geese feeding on a weedy piece. The piece was weedy and the geese were greedy. Three gray, green, greedy. Ah! Uh, let's, let's try that again. I Three. have to go. <laughs> okay, Vitor, I'll see you later. Three, three gray, green, greedy geese feeding on a weedy piece. The piece was weedy and the geese were greedy. Three gray, green, greedy geese. Any volunteers? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Roshan? Yes, yes. All right, do it. Uh, three, uh, three gray, green, greedy geese feeding on a weedy piece. The piece was weedy and the geese were greedy. Three gray, green, greedy geese. Nice. Good job, Roshan. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, Jordan. All right, Jordan, do it. Three gray, green, greedy geese feeding on the weedy peas. The peas was weedy, and the geese were greedy. The three gray, three gray, green, greedy geese. Good, good. That's where I got tripped up too. That last part is <laughs> rough, rough, rough. Um, who's next? Me. Okay. Okay. Go amp, on. amp, and then Eliana. Okay. okay. Three gray, green, greedy geese feeding on a weedy piece. The piece was weedy and the geese were greedy. Three gray, green, greedy geese. Nice. Good job, Anne. Nice. All right, Liliana? Three gray, green, greedy geese feeding on a weedy piece. The piece was weedy and the geese were greedy. Three gray, green, greedy geese. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Adolfo? Um, three gray, green, giddy geese feeding on a weedy piece. The piece was weedy and the geese were greedy. Three gray, green, greedy geese. Good, nice. Sophie-Ann? Okay. Three gray, green, greedy geese feeding on weedy piece. The piece was weedy and the geese were greedy. Three gray, green, greedy geese. Nice. Sophie-Ann, you're so good. One of these days, sophie I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you on one. I'm going to get you on a tongue twister. One of these days. Ah, ah, ah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, some, of the hard, um, some of the hardest tongue twisters are really short phrases that they ask you to say like three times fast. Um, like this one. We're not going to do this because we're out of time, but um, this is actually, you could probably do it four or five times fast. Gig whip, 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 yeah, so some of those are harder um, than the longer ones. Um, this one is, if you did this one three times fast, or try to do it three times fast, great gray geese graze. Ga <laughs> Can't even get through it once. Great gray geese graze gaily daily. 